It's National Unity Day in Russia. Moscow's Red Square cleared for the men in black. The president praising his people's patriotism and their apparent enthusiasm to go and fight. Among 300,000 people, 318,000 people have already been mobilized. Why 318,000? Because volunteers go. The flow of volunteers is not declining. But all of them need training. Here's some of that for those lucky enough to get it in the Leningrad region around St. Petersburg. New recruits learning how to move through and clear a space, instructed by a man called Nikolai, formerly police special forces, who we meet in St. Petersburg. We instructed about 1,200 people for two months. This is military policing. These are checkpoints on the new territories of our beautiful state, conducting dialogues related to a conflict situation. It's the opening ceremony of a grand new center belonging to the Wagner Group, billed as a kind of patriotic hub for fresh thinking on all things defense. For so long now, a lot of the reporting around Wagner has tended to describe it as this shadowy private military company. Not so shadowy anymore with this huge, shiny new headquarters here in St. Petersburg, literally called PMC Wagner Center, even though private military companies are still illegal under the Russian constitution. But Wagner has come out into the open all guns blazing with films glorifying the group's work in Ukraine. The man who runs it though, Yevgeny Prigozhin, not in attendance, but apparently filmed recently recruiting Russian convicts to fight. Those who arrive on the first day and say, I'm not where I'm supposed to be, we label them a deserter and execute them by firing squad. Prigozhin said that deserters would be shot is that okay? If he deserts, he is a criminal. If not here, then there the death penalty awaits him. Mobilizing convicts was illegal, but Putin just signed it into law. Mercenary companies still illegal have glistening corporate hubs, laws bent to fit round reality as this terrible fight drags on. Diana Magne, St. Petersburg, Russia.